Hey, um, I got a lot going on, um, and it's step right in 15 different boxes to answer this. I'm going to make a quick video as quickly as I can. Okay, so first of all, um, they were in a war against people who were doing, um, immoral sexual acts and were attacking them. So, uh, the, 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 the rule was to wipe these people, these corrupt attacking, uh, enemy out. Anyone who cor uh, acted in this corrupt, immoral, sexual actions, these men. Um, so they went in and they wiped all the people out that were doing uh, this immoral, sexual things and were um, messing with them. Now, these uh, people who you mentioned in Numbers 3118, these young girls uh, who were virgins... Um, they were not practicing in this immoral sexual um, deviancy and were not a threat to them. So instead of wiping them out uh, with these other people and giving them the same fate, um, no, uh, Moses tells them, um, keep them alive, do as you will with them. Um, nowhere in there does it indicate have sex. That's something that you are applying. It's one of the, the oldest straw man arguments. Uh, for this um, actual uh, story. Um, it's also way out of context. Um, we don't know if they were turned into servants, uh, handmaidens, if they were turned into bond servants. Uh, we don't know if they were turned into um, uh, slaves uh, where they worked to, to get a place where they could have their own place or land as were custom in that time for the Jews. Uh, we don't know what happened to them uh, to simply apply um, that they were virgins, therefore they were kept for sex is uh, just a twisting of the story because it's nowhere in there, uh, nowhere indicated that's what happened. Um, do it just simply looking at the Jewish culture and practices of the day. Um, nowhere does that even indicate that that was what was supposed to happen. That's a modern day twisting of that story that no one until this modern time and age has ever put that together. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Also in the Jewish system, uh, there was two types of meanings for the word virgin. Uh, one meaning a young child, another one meaning, um to have sex, has not had sex. To clarify which one, in Old English, they put those who have not slept with a man, so we would understand which version they meant by that word.